Hey guys, so I thought I'd try something new. Um, I wanted to do a lot more drawings and I've been doing ones based on, you know, photos and other people's books and things like that. So I thought what I could do, we could try out, is I've got my sketchbook here where I doodle things and it's full of, you know, doodles and stuff. But I thought what we could do is take one of my doodles and try to draw it together. So see if I can do it again and in a way that you guys can draw it with me. So I was flipping through, I found this page, I thought it had some cute stuff on it. So let's try and do this little robot space girl. And we'll draw it together and see how it goes. Okay, so first let's make the circle for her helmet. I'm going to draw soft so that if it doesn't turn out quite right, you can erase and do it again. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the basic body head shapes and stuff, and then we'll go back and add the details. Um, so let's just kind of very, very gently rough in where the head's going to be. So just kind of a little circle there. Now her shoulder is here and comes down. So let's go ahead and draw that in. Make a curve for her shoulder and draw one, two lines. Now on the bottom, I've got her sleeves fanned out, that's why I drew this getting a little bigger, bell-shaped. We're going to curve right there. Okay, now let's do her little hand. I've got her hand with the finger spread out. And I know some people think hands are so tricky they can't do them, but just think of it as basic shapes. So first we're going to just come out of the sleeve a little bit. Alright. Then we're going to go ahead and make a curve. It's very skinny. So that's one finger. As long as you make it skinny, it's not too hard. Okay, we're going to move over a little bit and do another curve. Next finger. Okay, and again. Finally, we do the pinky finger. It's going to be a little smaller. Okay, let's button the detail up on this by adding the curve for the inside of the sleeve. I've added this rim detail, so let's add just another curve here, balance that out. Alright, so we've got the arm that's going in front of her body. Let's go ahead and add the curve for her chest. Now, we've, I've given her this big, wide skirt dress thing, so we can make a curve from her shoulder that's going to be her back into her dress. Okay. 
All right. So now that we have the chest, we can make the back arm. So we'll put a little curve here for the shoulder. And have it come down about equal to the other one. since this is a redraw it's not going to be exactly the same we might alter things a little bit to make it easier okay let's make a curve here and go back up So again, we're going to do the hand. Now this hand is turned away from us, so we're really going to see something about like this. So we'll see some of the fingers on top of each other, but not the whole hand, like here. So again, we'll just think about the basic shapes. Just one finger at a time. Another one. And again, notice that I'm making them go a little smaller as I go because they're getting further away from me. And then I'm just going to have one more kind of. Here we go. Good enough. Now we want to want to match the design on the sleeve, so put a curve right there. Okay, now for the skirt, I've really made it like as if it had as a tube in it or something, as if it's its own shape so I'm just gonna make a big giant oval that kind of stands on its own doesn't fall like fabric usually would okay and then make that rim like we've got on the sleeves Now a big part of making sure we can tell the difference between the body and the skirt is this belt I've got. So I'm just going to kind of rough that in with a curve right now. We can add details to it later. Alright, now she's doing this super wide jump. One leg is all the way back here and one leg is all the way forward. So let's do her forward leg. Kind of parallel to the arm. I'm gonna make a little line that comes out from the skirt. And then let's put a oval for the bottom of her foot. Now this is kind of a little cartoony girl. She doesn't look very realistic on her body parts. Alright, and then when we finish the leg, we want to come in a little bit for the ankle and out a little bit for the rest of the leg. So she's got kind of this very wide foot for her boot. Alright, and then the one in the back, we're gonna look at that sweep of the her back and the leg come out.
make a curve. Alright, and we'll go in, but not to where the curve ends, because that's going to be the toe. Finish that up there. Looks like a little boot with a toe. All right, let's move on to the face. If we don't get in that in here, it's not going to look like anything, right? So, taking that very, very gentle circle I made as a guide, I'm going to make the left side to us and the chin. I get to the end there, I'm going to put a little ear. Alright, the hair I have swoops down in front of the, her face a little, so we'll make a wavy line that goes up, down, like that. Okay, at the end there, let's put a little curly cue. Now we've got to wrap this around and it's going to look like a big old curl of hair. Circle there. Alright, where that hair started, we're going to bump up and go bigger than the circle guide we have because the hair comes off the head and then wrap around to the back. Let's make another little curly cue here. Now we want to show the other side isn't just completely plastered down, so we'll put a little bump of hair there and a little circle where another curly cue would be. Alright, so this is a little robot girl, so I've got some details on her face so that we know that. First, let's put her eyes. Curve here and a curve that goes into her hair. Inside there we'll put some ovals. Okay, so the eyes help us because part of the little robot look is I've put some lines on the forehead. So let's just add some little lines here from where the eyes end in the middle of the face. Okay, I'm just going to put a little triangle nose. And for simplicity, I'm just going to put a little smile mouth. I've gone a little more detailed on my sketch one, but I don't want to overwhelm anybody. <laughs> now on the corners of the mouth, we're going to kind of do what we did on the forehead and add some lines. So it looks like the mouth has some robotic joints. Alright, so we've got the basics down. Let's start adding the details to make this look more like it fits together. One, she needs this collar thing that I've got on the inside and the outside of the bubble. Otherwise, it kind of looks like her head's floating. She doesn't have a neck. So we're going to go on her chin. 
and just make a curve that loops all the way around so that she's got a collar. Now on that I'm going to add contour curve lines that show that this is a round and puffy collar. So I'm making these curves to show how round it is. Something else that will help it stand out is I'm going to very lightly color in the bubble close to her head. And then as I get further away from her head, I'm just going to stop coloring. So now there's a shadow inside that bubble that makes it look like it's surrounding her. Okay, let's add the collar on the outside of the bubble. And the curve lines. Alright, let's make this belt look good. First we're going to need another section of it. So the belt is going to be wide, it's not just one line. Okay, and then we can put stripes on that, and they don't have to be contoured because the belt is flat, but do try to angle them to match the body. also have this little backpack on her. So put a curved stripe under her arm for like a, a backpack strap. And then on her back, just put a curve for a backpack. And I'll put a little circle inside it, and maybe like a little square, like a button, gets mechanical. Okay, um, I'm going to put some little patches and insignias on her shirt, just some little circles and ovals that then you can add patterns and designs to. picture look more interesting. And then her boots. We want to show that her boots are separate from her legs. So let's put a curve here. Now on the back one we don't see enough of it to see that curve. On the bottom of her boot we want to show some stripes. Okay. So any other little details you want to add? Circle on the boot. And I've got a little stripe on this boot. Now on her face I've got little dots. Like she's got screws or bolts or some other kind of robot parts. <laughs> In the bulb, we want a kind of a shiny re rectangle to show that this is a 3D bubble. And in my one, I've even given her like a little star on her cheek. Pretty cute! Alright guys, I hope you had fun trying to draw my picture from my sketchbook. They're pretty close. A little bit simplified so that you could follow along. But this was fun. Any other details you want to add or changes you want to make, that would be great. Alright, thanks guys.